you have an iPhone 11 series, SE2 or 12 series, just don't update to iOS 26 before watching this video. How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and iOS 26 is finally around the corner. We've been waiting for so long, ever since it was announced back in June, and it's finally here, the final stable official version of iOS 26, and everyone wants to update their phones to this new version. But the thing is, if you have an iPhone 11 series, SE2 or 12 series, should you go ahead and update just like that? And my simple answer is no, don't update. But hear me out, stay in this video, because even if you want to update, even if you say, I'm gonna update, I don't care, I'm gonna have some awesome tips for you to help you out, minimize all of the risks, okay? So first, I'm gonna explain you why I think you shouldn't update, and then I'm gonna explain you what you can do to help you out a lot if you will update no matter what, okay? So stick around, stay until the end of this video. Okay, so the first question everybody asks is, okay, but why specifically the 11 series, SE2, and 12 series? Why you don't recommend the update for those three generations? And it's very, very clear, guys. Those are the actual three generations, the oldest iPhones that are compatible with the update the oldest iPhones compatible with iOS 26. So they are compatible, but they're barely, they're right there in the end of the line. And this is very, very important. And I don't know if you know this, but Apple decides which iPhones are compatible and which aren't based on one simple thing, the processor, just the processor. And the iPhone 11 series has the exact same processor as the SE2, which is the A13, and that's why they are compatible. And of course, we have the iPhone 12 series with the A14. Now, let's just imagine one thing. We have iOS 26, which is actually designed for the iPhone 16 and 15. Of course, it's designed for the newest iPhone models that actually have the A18 processor Imagine this same operating system, it changes a little bit, we're gonna talk about features in a second, but the baseline, it's the same operating system running on an iPhone 16, A18 processor, and on an iPhone 11 with the A13 processor. We're talking about five generations behind. So naturally, it's not gonna be the same thing. It's not gonna be the same performance, but it's not only that. When, when I say you shouldn't update an older iPhone like those three generations to iOS 26, I'm not just talking about the processor. I'm talking about two more things, battery and storage. If you have an older iPhone model, most likely this iPhone is gonna have a pretty degraded battery, unless of course you have replaced it. So generally it's gonna be around 80% or even under 80%. And this will have also a huge impact when updating to a major new software update, because you not only have a old processor, way old processor, but also your battery is probably already degraded. So this impacts dramatically on the performance as well, because the more degraded the battery is, the less performance you're gonna get. It's simple, very simple, because of CPU throttling and thermal problems and many more issues. And on top of that, we have storage as well. Generally, older iPhones have way more storage, they have used way more storage compared to new ones, because you end up gathering more and more stuff on your iPhone throughout the years. So then you have the perfect combo for having a bad experience. You have an older device, with an older processor, your battery is probably degraded and your storage is probably full. So that's why I generally don't recommend because that's the typical iPhone 11, SE2 or 12 in 2025. It has all of those three characteristics, but of course, not everyone. Maybe you have replaced your battery. Maybe you take care of your storage, you do use iCloud perfectly, you watch my videos, so then you have a healthy, newer iPhone 11 or 12, so that's why I said that maybe for you, updating is a possibility, but I don't recommend. I would only recommend, really, 
if you had one of those specific scenarios. Great battery, so above 80%, a lot of free storage, at least 40% free storage. So downloading uh, the update isn't an issue for you. Your storage is pretty empty. And of course, uh, you can do anything about the processor, but at least if you can have a good battery, good storage, then it would be a good possibility. I would consider updating to iOS 26, but again, only in this specific scenario. And of course, we're just talking about hardware here, but what about software? So a lot of people want to update to iOS 26 because of the new features. And I don't know if you know this, but many of the newest, coolest features of iOS 26 just aren't compatible with the iPhone 11, SE 2, 12, and even 13, and even 14. So a lot of features actually require Apple intelligence, for example. So you need an iPhone 15 Pro or newer. So everything related to Apple intelligence, visual intelligence, adaptive power, for example, which is such a cool feature that works way better than low power mode, if you ask me, which is an awesome management of your battery, requires an iPhone 15 Pro, and the list goes on and on. Live translation for messages, phone and FaceTime, voicemail summary, um, auto categorization for reminders, image playground, Genmoji, chat GPT integration, all of that will require at least an iPhone 15 Pro. So you have to keep in mind that even if you have a good iPhone 11 SE 2 or 12 with good battery, good storage, it's perfect, go ahead and update, okay, but you're not gonna get many of the coolest features of iOS 26. And that's why right here towards the end of the video, I'm gonna explain you the three scenarios, the three scenarios that are, they exist, the possible three scenarios in my recommendation. So, number one, stay in iOS 18, especially if you have a more beat up iPhone. Just stay in iOS 18, you're gonna have a way better experience in iOS 18, and if you're worried about, okay, but what about my security and uh, security updates and bug fixes and so on, Apple will still update iOS 18 until next year until 2026. They'll still keep releasing updates to make sure you're safe. So if you are in iOS 18, you're not gonna be forgotten by Apple. You're safe, you're good, okay? So this is my general recommendation right here, stick to iOS 18. We have of course scenario number two, which is a good option as well, which is, okay, you wanna update to iOS 26, you don't care, you want to update, you will update. Just wait a little bit. Okay, at least wait for iOS 26.1 or even iOS 26.2 because this very first version of iOS 26, so 26.0, 26.0.1, it's gonna be pretty buggy. It's gonna be, it, it's always like that. So updating your already older iPhone to this very first version of iOS 26 is generally not a good idea. And of course, if you can wait a little bit you're able to actually see from the community, from creators like me, and when we actually are using the final version and we can give you feedback in real time as we are using. So this is a great opportunity as well to just wait and see and like, even if you are gonna update, just wait a little bit. And of course we have the third scenario, which is Daniel, I don't care. I wanna update on day one, I really like the new design, I really like the features that my iPhone is compatible, and I will update as soon as it's released. So my recommendation is go ahead and do it on day one, as soon as you can. If you are 100% sure that you will update immediately, do that. Go ahead and update immediately. And I say that because you will have like a one to two week window that you're still gonna be able to downgrade if you want to. So if you update to iOS 26 on day one, you're able to test it out for one week, maybe 10 days. And if you don't like, if your iPhone gets really, really bad, you're able in the short window to downgrade to iOS 18. But again, you just have like a week to 10 days because after that, Apple just won't sign iOS 18 anymore. So then those are the three scenarios you have. Don't update, wait a little bit, or update on day one, having the possibility to downgrade. So then you will be safe. There's no risk 
of doing something that you're gonna regret later. And of course, we have the downgrade video here on the channel. I'm gonna leave a card right here, link in the description. It's pretty good to have it saved because if you want to downgrade, if you need to downgrade, you already have the video saved and it's super easy and you're gonna be able to do it. Just make sure to back up before updating to iOS 26, all right? So that's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.